guys, we're on day five now of our Gatlinburg vacation. And we are gonna start off the day watching ourselves. Not that we're conceited or anything, but uh, Walt's videos are awesome, so we're just gonna sit here and enjoy them right it hasn't now. Been released yet. That's right. We're doing our own premiere here yeah, in, the, uh, in the living room. Got That's right. Perhaps he tears the cabin up. <laughs> And this, guys, is how we start every morning off here in the cabin with a little two-step from Walter and Tina. Tina has to two-step with him in case he throws out a hip. Somebody's going to have to get him off the floor, so there we go. Someone and I would do that too, but we don't actually know how. All right, guys, so still hanging out at the cabin. Can't decide what exactly what we're going to do today because the weather can't decide what it's going to do. But we've had a good time here in the morning, but I think now we're going to go out to the uh, local goat or uh, actually, I think we're gonna go to the local borough, and that's a, a Mexican place here in downtown Gatlinburg. Probably do a cider tasting as well, Tennessee Cider Company, Simone loves her hard cider, so we're gonna hit that up. Also, if it ever clears off, we might do the Sky Bridge here today, um, but you gotta take a ski lift to get up there, and uh, that's gonna be wet, so we don't wanna sit in a wet chair lift. But uh, anyway, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some fun stuff, I'm sure, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Working on the list. What's the list? The list, well, we already had to change today's list because of the rain. So we're working on today and tomorrow's list. I know it causes But we're starting off with a uh, convenience store run to get a Monster Energy drink. So that way, that way Walt can drink his energy drink and not feel guilty about it. So, and, and then we're going to the local borough and gonna get uh, a start of getting drunk. And uh, then we're gonna go to the Tennessee Cider Tasting and finish off getting drunk. Okay. And, and then, then after that, I don't know what we're gonna do because we're gonna we'll be drunk. Tell Kino, gonna be drunk. We gotta tell Kino, sorry about the bangs. He's gonna be really. He pissed. is. Well, I already explained to him that the bang was gonna cause me a heart attack, so I might not be able to drink those as much. But, right. I had a little but yeah, bang this but so been... instead of banging, I'm just gonna turn into a monster, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna Which happens quite often when you don't bang. Monster. If when you don't bang, you do turn into a monster sometimes. So yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Right now we're just gonna hang out at the driveway. <laughs> Walt's getting directions to the nearest uh, convenience store or something. Yeah, because I don't trust none what of you sons of bitches. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the other convenience store we went to yesterday didn't have a bathroom and Walt had to take, take, take a pee. So we got to have a bathroom at the convenience stores when we go to them. Yes. We might have to drive three miles in the other direction to find one with a bathroom, but we're going to get there. Alright guys, first up today, the convenience store for an energy drink. Kind of a cool little store though. It's cool neon there in the window. The old bears with their moonshine and their Miller light up there on top of the roof. Then we got we got pickles over here. Hey Simone, did they show you show your shirt today? Oh, no, All right, oh, Simone's shirt today, guys. I lost my shirt at a Good Times production live of 500 subscriber celebration. <laughs> Just imagine what the uh, 1,000 subscriber celebration is going to be like if she lost her shirt on the 500. Nature. Smoky Mountain Rain. Yeah, that's right. Barbecue. Barbecue right there. So now it's barbecue and weed smell. Walt thinks they're smoking uh, the barbecue with, with the weed. Oh. <laughs> Give it a little extra something something.
These, these crosswalks and traffic can remind you of Vegas sometimes. Definitely don't want to try to cross uh, without the crosswalk. All right, guys, finally crossed the road. We had to jaywalk. The damn light was taking forever. So we are making our way down in the direction of the local borough. I hope. Making our direction, the, making our way down in the direction of somewhere. It's really cold here in Gatlinburg today compared to the rest of the uh, week. Had some pretty good weather. It's not raining right now currently though, so that's pretty good. But And we're gonna stop this now because nobody's gonna be able to hear anything courtesy of this guy. I'm telling you, just like Vegas. So tomorrow, just rem reminded me, tomorrow is actually St. Patrick's Day. So we gotta make sure we wear our green and drink some Irish cider or something somewhere. We might have to go to an Irish place tomorrow. Is there any good Irish places in town? The Shamrock. Oh, that's right, the Shamrock. The Shamrock is Irish, and I tell you what, the uniforms on those bartenders, I could, yeah, I could take a second uh, look at those. I mean, the second look at the menu is what I actually meant to say. Yeah. yeah. Guys, check out these <laughs> drinks that are just arriving. Some top shelf margaritas here for the Frontiersman. These are his favorite in the entire world, he's been telling me. So, got myself a uh, mango mojito here. And actually, I guess that, that's sangria. Sorry, that's Simone sangria. That's my mojito. Why is my mojito so much smaller than everybody else's? It's tall. It's tall. Okay, all right, sure. But it definitely looks damn good. So, Simone. Cheers, this one is yours. That is pretty, that is pretty and big. That's what she said. What flavor is it? Uh, I did the white. All right, we're gonna go enjoy these here, guys. Enjoying some uh, six-layer dip here. It is really rich and creamy and just amazing. It's got so many different flavors in there. We got refried beans and some salsa, some guacamole. Looks like, looks like some cilantro sour cream. There's some ground beef, some amazing chips. Beans. Mm, the most challenging part is trying to eat it, guys, but man, it is so good. All right, guys. Lunch has arrived. Uh, uh, Ooh, thank you. Ooh, that is hot. I can feel the heat from right here. That's nice. I can warm my hand on it. Yep. That looks good. Some good looking food here. Mm. And we are not going to eat for days here after this, guys. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we're not eating for days. Or at least until dinner. Thank you. So, guys, I got the Arrows Con Polo for my uh, meal, and it's basically uh, Mexican rice blended with some really good cheese. Got some grilled chicken, which looks amazing, and some refried beans on the side. Also got uh, some homemade fresh pressed tortillas. Can't go wrong with those. And then behind my water glass over here, we got some homemade guac to uh, stuff inside the tortilla shells as well. So, and Simone over here got some uh, beef stuffed empanadas, and they look uh, really amazing as well. That's All right, guys, I'm just gonna try everything separate for right now, so I can get the real, real flavor of everything. Those beans are really good. You can taste the smokiness from the cumin in there, some garlic, a little bit of tomato, but not much. And some fresh cilantro. I actually got a whole, whole pepper in there as well. Very good. All right, going with some rice here next. You can see the cheese inside that rice. It's gonna be really good. 
Mm. I can eat that all by itself. Mm. That is really good. Not spicy at all. Nice and mild. And then just a piece of the grilled chicken with that sour cream queso. Mm. Real smoky. Nice grill flavor from that as well. Very good, guys. It's all going to go into those fresh tortillas. All right, guys. So now we got it all stuffed inside the tortilla shell for the uh, perfect bite, hopefully. Those are really good tortillas, guys. You can definitely taste the freshness and tell that they're homemade. Excellent meal here at the local borough. Simone's going to go in for her beef empanada. Mm. got an oh yeah out of it which is better than it's good which is what she usually does so this is an oh yeah guys that is better than good no it's definitely it's the, the dough's homemade nice fresh beef inside it's very good awesome pickles approved so i gotta agree with walt that was some damn good mexican food at the local borough really loved everything about it the ambiance is awesome the food was great the company was obviously so so but we had we had tina there to uh to really liven things up a little bit. At Walter, he's kind of a buzzkill sometimes, but no, we loved it, guys. Great uh, place to go if you're in Gatlinburg, and uh, thanks, Walter, for that suggestion. Okay, guys, back over at Pigeon Forge now. Because the weather was suspect, we decided to find something to do inside, so we are over at the uh, Hollywood Wax Museum. <laughs> For Skylift, it's about the same uh, kind of line as we had at the uh, Hollywood. What the hell was that? Wax museum. wax museum. There we go. The Hollywood Wax Museum. But I've been assured that this one's going to move a little bit faster, so we'll find out. All right, guys, we are loaded up, locked and loaded. Yep. I hope that's locked anyway. Well, Speaking of locked, I probably ought to put this around my hand just to make sure that we're locked here too. We got uh, Walt and Tina over there, somewhere behind us. Wave, Walt! Hey. All right, there's Walt. <laughs> All right. We'll get you the view going forward here, guys. And then you turn around. Maybe do a little hyperlapse for you, so if you don't like things going real fast, close your eyes.
know if you guys can see this thing shaking back and forth, but it's not called the suspension bridge for nothing. Walk lightly. Walt did suggest that we drink before we came up here. It might have been a good idea. It might not have felt so uh, shaky then. Everything would have everything would just kind of leveled right out. Or it could have been worse. That is true as well, as Tina just pointed out. Yeah. This thing shakes almost as much as the plane ride down to Tennessee did. It is a great view once you get up here, though. Check out those mountains, guys. A good time good time so no awesome views from up here uh, it is a little on the pricey side I'll say throw that up there for you it was $25 per person however the uh, wristband apparently is good all day long so if you came in the morning I guess and got the wristband and did two or three trips you'd probably be worth the money it was worth the money anyway it was pretty cool up there and you got a great view going down which we're gonna show you right now guys here we are bonus Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile sighting in Gatlinburg Tennessee Woo! you don't see that every day there you go that one that one was actually for JR from JR from Vegas tips and tricks because we know how much he loves his Oscar Mayer Wieners So beautiful. 
nobody like So lucky to be 